Hi, uh, my name is Ernesto Neato. I'm a sculptor. I come from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and I've been working since many years. I began when I was 19 years old. Um, in fact, I was studying engineer. I had thought about making some sculpture, tried to get in some classes, but never made it. And I decided to move from engineer to astronomy. In fact, when I was a child, I wanted to be an astronaut. But I failed in the test to astronomy. I went to Bahia. On the summer, I stayed there like two months. And I met a painter on the way, became our friend. And on, on the end, I met a girl. And she began to tell me, ah, man, there is a sculpture uh, place, the parquilage, they do sculptures on clay. I said, well, I have done many sculptures on clay. Because before I was afraid, you know. And when I did the first one, I, I decided that I, I wanted to do that in my life. Like, I don't know exactly what was that, but I'm not sure that that's what I would like to spend my days since then. I just arrived in India yesterday in the morning. It's an uh, incredible pleasure to be here. Uh, I always knew that I would come here and I never knew when. Uh, we're trying to make it happen uh, with bows since some years and finally I'm here. Uh, I'm very impressed about the amount of nature, how the nature swallows on the city, how it's spread out with the people, with the organic organization of everything. Yes, it's really incredible how these birds don't stop singing, you know. I have no idea that it would be like that. It's funny because you have many ideas of India and many times it comes from the sculptures, from the temples. And when you arrive here it's totally different. But at the same time, it's so close to Brazil, to Rio de Janeiro in a way. It's the weather, the, the green, it's very, I mean, it's not, not a city here in Fort Kerala, but uh, very much, uh, very comfortable for me, this humidity. I love to be in the humidity and the heat. So, as you know, I'm here for the biennial. It's first biennial in India. I, I feel very honored to be here. And I had been many biennials. Uh, I, I met Bose and Schweto for the first time in São Paulo when I was showing at the Baiana, São Paulo Biennial. And I just came from Sharjah, where I also gonna participate on the Biennial in March. So I think it, Biennials are, became very important moments because it's a relation between a lot of people from many, many countries who come to meet each other in one point, in one city, in another culture, you know, so I think it enriched very much the place who are, which are receiving and also the people who are arriving because this plate, there is a transpiration, an exchange, a dance between us, the artists, and the place who receive us, the, the people, the society, the, I mean, they specifically the, the people who are working and also the people, the, the audience, the ambience, the everything that is around, you know. So I think uh, many, I think the art we live today has been very much developed because of the biennials. Uh, it's something that happened in many, many cities in the world. And we can have mostly the best things in these biennials. And normally the biennials are a place that you have a very generous space to work, a lot of freedom you know, and good context and uh, a platform for conversation, for discussion, not just about art, but about everything, you know. Uh, well, art technically is about everything. Art touches everything on our lives. But uh, so we have the objects, the art itself, the sculptures, paintings, photography, video, whatever. 
uh, performance, many kinds of money manifestation. And also we have the time to, ch to share, to exchange. You can have some uh, lectures, you know, discussing panels. So it's a very rich moment for anywhere and for any artist to be in.